All right, guys, uh, here is my Vapor Blaster. So um, this is kind of the culmination of probably three different guys, blasters that I've seen on YouTube and watched what they did putting them together. And uh, this is kind of what I came up with. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I tried to steal the best things from each one of those blasting cabinets and kind of make it into my own and kind of just make a hybrid of all of those to what I thought was going to work the best. So I definitely want to pay homage to those guys and mention them because I think it's important. I'm not going to sit here and try and say I could have done this by myself. I think I could have, but it would not have turned out to look like this in my opinion. So those three guys were, there's a gentleman from Australia. His uh, name on YouTube is CoolHand99AU. Uh, then there's Matt with uh, Matthew MC Repair. He does a lot of cool videos on bike builds and how to uh, repair different stuff. And then there was Venom Chris. Um, he built one as well from one of these Harbor Freight cabinets. So all of those videos were built uh, based around Harbor Freight cabinets. Now I will say this, if you're going to build one of these out of a Harbor Freight cabinet, get the cabinet that was the older style if you can find it with the rolled edges. Um, not with all the bolts and everything holding every single piece together because that is just every single one of those bolt hole locations is going to be a place where that thing can leak and you're going to have to seal up with silicone and that's going to be a huge pain so um anyway uh this thing has not been used yet uh everything's been tested but i wanted to get a video of this thing before we started running media through and it gets all dirty and hammed up inside so anyway why don't we just start from the uh the water side so this is a Surumi uh, sump pump. Uh, that's probably your biggest ticket item if you're going to build one of these things. If you're going to, I kind of tried to get the best components for each thing because I want this thing to last. I want it to be reliable. I want it to uh, do well when I'm blasting parts. So uh, the blue hose is just MSC hose uh, that you can get from mscdirect.com. They have red, blue, whatever. They have a couple different colors. I kind of want to do blue, kind of offset the red a little bit which I thought was cool. Uh, the one difference, the one thing I did with my cabinet that I didn't really see too many other people have done, but I'm gonna have a bucket underneath the, um, underneath the hopper. And so the reason I wanna do this was because if I wanna do a media change, it's a matter of a couple minutes of me making sure all the media is washed down from the hopper uh, and then into the bucket. And then I literally pull this pump up uh, with the flex hose and the extra power cord that I've got there and uh, I dump in another bucket with the media slurry already in it and, um, and you're off to the races with your next media chain. So a couple minutes and you're, 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 uh, you're blasting with something else. I did buy this little hopper attachment uh, down here uh, from Tacoma Company. They have a lot of great products. They kind of center around more of the sand or media blasting, uh, but all of their products will work for the for vapor application. Um, inside is one of their Tacoma nozzles that we'll show you here in a minute. Um, and then, yeah, so I've got like a 10 gallon galvanized bucket from Tractor Supply that is not probably gonna work because it's just considered a container and I've been trying to seal this thing up. It's not really watertight, so I'm gonna have to get a different attachment down there at the discharge of my pump to come straight up instead of off so that I'm hoping this whole thing will just fit inside of a five gallon bucket and we'll be off to the races. So onto the air side, uh, I've got a coil house pneumatics uh, pressure regulator. Uh, again, that's probably a $90 regulator. Uh, it's all half inch line pneumatic. I, I upgraded all my my uh, compressor fittings and everything coming right off the compressor to half inch. And then it goes into a half inch motorized uh, ball valve. Your check valve, which is imperative. If you watch any of these other guys' videos, they will also tell you you definitely need a check valve. If nothing else, you do not want uh, water back feeding into your air supply. Uh, that is a huge no-no. Control cabinet, it's got a DC power supply, it's terminal strips, um, and uh, that's where everything happens in terms of the relays. Uh, there's also some latching relays in there that work with these pedals down here uh, because these are non-latching pedals, uh, but with those relays that work. So I've got a pedal for the pump, got a pedal for the air, and uh, yeah, once that gets going, um, be off and running so inside uh, I'll show you in a, here in a second but uh, went through three different sets of LED lights before I found the ones that I felt were bright enough and um, and would work the best there's a, a marine windshield wiper uh, on top that was mounted 
uh, in there as well and uh, we'll see how that works I'm not a big fan of, I mean it's the smallest blade you can get and you're kind of limited to the size of the window that comes in these cabinets so we'll see how that works out but let's go take a look inside here um, so one thing that the gentleman from Australia did, which I thought was a cool idea, was he put a piece of thick, you know, plastic inside, which this keeps, once you close this door, this falls inside. And so once you get done blasting, uh, all the, your water and slurry mix will run off the plastic and back down into the hopper so you don't get a big mess when you open up your door and all the stuff is sticking on the inside. Um, moving inside here, replace the gloves that came with the original Harbor Freight um, cabinet. I heard that they were not that great, so I figured I'd swap those out. And then here is gonna be the workhorse of the cabinet. It's a Tacoma Deluxe uh, glass nozzle. I think that thing was 165 bucks. But if you watch uh, Matthew MC repair his video on his blaster, uh, he is well well worth the money based on just your normal stock nozzles that uh, that you get in blast cabinets. So I uh, don't know if there's the lights there. Um, and then my blue hose is coming in here from the back. There's the pump. There's coming in from the air side, bulkhead fittings, comes around to your nozzle. So um, that's the blast cabinet in a nutshell. So if you guys have any questions, uh, I'd be more than happy to answer things with things I ran into. Um, also, I did put this uh, car weather stripping around here. You had to zip off a little section of the metal down here for it to come on, but that was one other thing that I wanted to do to cut down on any chance of leaks anywhere. Um, I'll try and put a link down in the description to uh, as many of the parts as I can, get you guys heading in the right direction if you want to build one of these cabinets. If you're in the Sacramento area, and you want me to build you one, reach out to me in the comments. We'll see if we can figure something out. But uh, anyway, also that blue bottle down there, that is from Vapor Honing Technologies. Um, it is corrosion inhibitor, which you will put inside your slurry mix uh, and will cut down on the rust um, on your uh, metal parts. Um, but at any rate, uh, so that's it. Give me a holler if you got any questions and uh, good luck.